They say not a lot of money is made for fighters on the come up, but Nate Diaz has made sure he receives the bag these days. He also says he'll only pick up the phone for $20 million fights. That or forget it. Now it kind of makes sense because this guy does tend to get awfully bloody real quickly. I mean, even look at his mural. There it is. I'm not surprised. Someone took out the other words. Now for the Diaz brothers, the UFC has been their ticket from rags to riches. Now Nate, he went from working as a cook next to a martial arts gym to his brother owning his own and the two running a very successful CBD business, which is, you know, no surprise there. I got to smoke the weed after the fight. So I had to smoke the game up CBD. So what was that? CBD by uh, Game Up nu Nutrition. It's good for you. Nate's fight money might not be at the $20 million mark, but he did come close after his second bout with Conor McGregor, which earned him over $10 million from his cut from the pay-per-views. Now it's fights like this that have afforded him a nice piece of property in his hometown of Stockton, California, where he sits on 1.5 acres of land and he drives the 2017 Chevy Tahoe, also a Ford Raptor. And he showed this off on his very own personal YouTube channel. Yeah, that sh looks clean. Now when Nate isn't training for war, well he's enjoying his newfound fortune traveling the world and attending concerts like Coachella. But don't be surprised if you don't recognize him out in public. Nate's been doing pretty good financially as a result of his lengthy UFC tenure, but there was a time in his career where he realized that he wasn't getting paid what he knew he was worth. It was then he decided to put his foot down. Back in 2015, he stated, Fighters need to start imagining themselves as the product because we're the product of this business. I ain't free. I don't know why everybody is acting like they are. He probably didn't say it as articulately as I did, but you know, that's me. In 2014, just one year after signing a long-term deal with the UFC, well, Nate, he found himself still fighting for as little as $16,000 for a win. Now, that's the same fee he was earning a decade earlier. It was then he asked for a complete release from his contract, and he decided to sit things out until they began to pay up. Now it wouldn't take long for him to bump his take home into the seven figures with his $2 million fee for his second bout in the ring against Conor McGregor. Now if these boys go at it for a third time, how much do you think Nate will get paid? I'd like to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. I actually think it'll be pretty close to the $20 million he thinks he deserves. What's going on guys? It's boy Michael McCrudden hitting you guys with another The Rich Life video, this time on your boy Nate Diaz. Now over the weekend, our old before they are famous on him, it started pulling in tons of views. It's now at like 1.7 million views. So maybe we should do an update. Now a few other The Rich Life videos we've dropped recently, they include Drake and Sway Lee, but we need suggestions from you guys to keep this party going. Also, if you want me to get paid like Nate Diaz, or even just a little closer, well, you guys can help us out by supporting us here by hitting the join button down below. You become a channel member and we unlock all sorts of new features we'll be bringing to you. Also, you can join our Patreon page and there is the opportunity for us to make a Before They Are Famous video on you or The Rich Life. If you're really rich and you want to make like five Patreons, then you, you know you probably deserve one. Anyways, guys, let's get into this video on Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz was born on April 16th, 1985 in Stockton, California. Now he grew up in a small one-story house in Lottie, just north of Stockton, and there he lived with his mother, his older brother, and his sister. Now dad, he wasn't around much during his childhood, which meant the boys they had to learn to not only fend for themselves, but also for the girls of their family. Because Stockton, apparently, it's rough and tough. It was big bro Nick, two years his senior, who first began to train professionally at Animal House Gym. Now Nate, he found himself working as a cook at a restaurant next door at 11, and he began to join his brother training every day. Now Nate, he was naturally good at boxing, but he really fell in love with jujitsu. Now here's an old clip of the two training at 16 and 17 years old. The boys became local celebs throughout Stockton, challenging everyone to fight. Now, if they wanted to go after Nick, well, they had to choke out Nate first. And the young, scrawny Nate, well, he was able to hold his own against much bigger kids. Now, eventually, the boys, they dropped out of school, and Nate, he sold weed to keep money in his pocket. Now, he began to make a name for himself with six wins and two losses between 2004 and 2007. That was in the WEC. 
He also competed in the Ultimate Fighter. His previous bouts in the UFC were earning him between thirty and eighty-five thousand dollars. That's depending on if he won and what fighting bonuses he was awarded, like submission or fight of the night. Now, I actually have a full breakdown of all his earnings throughout his career. So we'll just roll through that. On September 19th of 2007 at UFC Fight Night, well, he was paid $30,000. That's $15,000 to show up and $15,000 in win bonuses against Junior Asuncao. On January 23rd, 2008 at UFC Fight Night against Alvin Robinson, he was paid $70,000. $15,000 to show up, $15,000 because he won, and $40,000 for submission of the night in bonuses. On April 2nd at UFC Fight Night with a win against Kurt Pellegrino, well, he earned $50,000. 15 to show, 15 for the win, and 20K submission for the night. On September 17th, where Diaz was the headliner for UFC Fight Night against Josh Neer, well, he won $70,000, 20 to show, 20 to win, and $30,000 for fight of the night bonus. At UFC 94, he lost to Clay Guida, but he still earned $85,000. 20,000 to show and 65,000 for fight of the night bonus. At UFC Fight Night, Diaz versus Gillard with a win, he earned $78,000. That's $24,000 to show up, $24,000 for the win bonus, and $30,000 for submission of the night. At UFC Fight Night, Maynard versus Diaz, which he lost. Well, he only took home 24K. At UFC 111 against Rory Markham, he won 49,000. 24,000 to show, 24,000 in winning bonuses, and $1,000 from Markham because he missed his weight. At UFC 118, he won against Marcus Davis, and he earned $120,000. 30,000 to show, 30,000 in win bonuses, and 60,000 for fight of the night. Next up were two losses at UFC 125 and UFC 129, where he earned $33,000 for appearing. At UFC 135, he won against Takanori Gami, and he earned $141,000. $33,000 to show, $33,000 in winning bonuses, and $75,000 for submission of the night. At UFC 141, he chalked up another win against Donald Cerrone, and for this, he earned $149,000. 37,000 to show, 37 to win, and $75,000 for fight of the night. Again, he was the headliner for the UFC fight of the night, Diaz versus Miller. He won against Jim Miller and earned himself $147,000. 41,000 for the fight, 41,000 for the win, and 65,000 for submission of the night. At UFC on Fox, Henderson versus Diaz, well, he lost to Benson Henderson, and he took home 50K. At the next UFC on Fox, Henderson versus Melendez, well, he lost to Josh Thompson, and he took home $15,000. Ouch. The Ultimate Fighter, Rousey versus Tate, he bested Gray Maynard for $80,000. $15,000 to show, $15,000 because he won, and $50,000 for knockout of the night. He lost to Rafael de Sanjos, earning $16,000, $20,000 to show, but fine, $4,000 for missing weight. Then he won against Michael Johnson, earning $110,000, 20 to show, 20 to win, and $50,000 for fight of the night. He also picked himself up a sponsorship with Reebok, earning him an additional 20 k Now that Reebok money, it must have felt like a nice cherry on top, but Nate Diaz was literally fighting to live. Now some of these sums of money, they sound good, but you can imagine that's all he had to live on for the year. And you know, he really had to win to make decent coin. Now that all changed when a new opponent would guarantee the views the UFC wanted, and Nate Diaz, he knew his value. Now for his first fight against Conor at UFC 196, well Nate, he earned $620,000. That's half a million to show, 50,000 for fight of the night bonus, and 50,000 for performance of the night bonus. Also Reebok, they're still paying him that 20K. Now it was the next fight that really upped his net worth with him earning $2 million for the fight and a 50K bonus for fight of the night and 20K again from Reebok. Now finally, he had earned enough money to take a little break, or as he puts it. The reason I was off is because everybody sucks. For Nate's most recent W against Anthony Pettis, well, he took home 270,000. That's a quarter million to show and 20,000 in fight week incentive pay. I don't know. Now, there have been other streams of revenue with Nate doing an ongoing sponsorship promoting Zevia. That's a zero calorie drink. And he posts about it all over his socials. Now, for a guy who's tough, but to be honest, not so articulate, well, it's actually kind of funny reading his sponsored captions. Here we go. This week I'm partnering with Zevia to give out 20 full cases of their product. 
To enter to win a case, follow Zevia and leave a comment below with your favorite flavor. 20 winners will be announced in the comments exactly one week from today. Hashtag sponsor. Now, uh, I feel like someone wrote that for Nate. You know what I mean? There's no MFs in there anywhere. What I'm just saying. All right, so we know Nate Diaz is making bank and well-deserved. He's been working long and hard for what he's got. Now let's take a look at what he spends it on. Now like most, Nate's big first purchase was his house, which he bought in 2011 for $430,000. It's 3,268 square feet and it sits on 1.5 acres. Now the home, it includes three bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, a swimming pool, it's got a fancy fireplace. And he also likes to rent lavish homes away from home whenever he has a fight. Or have you always stayed in the fighter hotel? No, in Vegas I had a house for my last two fights and uh, in Orlando, yeah, I usually get a house. I've been in this game too long, too many fights after a while, you're just like, like, um, I would, I would like to kind of like step out and step in when I'm ready instead of just staying the whole time. It's kind of, a, kind of a mess. Then when it comes to whips, it appears that Nate, he is his pick between the 2017 Chevy Tahoe LTZ, which he got covered in matte black. Also, he's got a Ford Raptor, also a 2017. Now, Nate's also got a love for biking and the Nate Diaz army. They seem to be really impressed with his mountain bike. I mean, when he shows it off via IG, well, the comments are all like, sick bike, bro, you're the best. Now, Nate's been enjoying his time off from fighting, going on multiple trips. He was flying in a helicopter in New York City, and he was showing his boys a good time in Los Angeles. Now, he's even got his hands on a sea dew and it looks like the man took a vacation. Who would have thunk a poor fighter kid from Stockton would one day go on to enjoy the rich life? Good for him. All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video. My name, of course, is Michael McCrudden. Please let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Now, typically, I go to the these UFC fights, especially when Conor McGregor's fighting, but I was there at 196 to see Conor and Nate the first time, and then again the second time. And God, the streets they ran, they ran gold with beer. It was a crazy time. I'd love to see these guys do it again. I actually feel like Nate will have the upper hand. Although Connor's been, uh, he's been picking on the elderly recently. Really strange. Anyways, I've said too much already. I'm gonna wrap this one up. We'll see you guys in another video.